Under the influence of my sister, I made this loaded fries recipe. It's so cheesy, so filling. You're going to love it, I bet you. So please stay with me and let's do this together. So to begin the recipe, I'll start by seasoning my chicken. So for this recipe, I'm using chicken thigh. What I did was to debone the thigh, cut them into pieces or bite-sized pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and season with some grated ginger and garlic first. So you can also decide to blend these, but it was a very small quantity and I didn't want to use my blender, okay. And certainly you can use the powdered ones, the powdered ginger and garlic, if that's what you have, okay. And I'm going in with some cayenne pepper, some curry powder, some chicken seasoning and salt. I'll make sure to massage the spices into the chicken very well. And then I'll leave it to marinate while I do the other parts of the recipe, okay? So apart from the chicken, I'm going to be adding sausages as well. Our uh, mouth is sweet as, okay? So we are just adding more protein. So the sausages, I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm going to just leave it set aside, okay? For my yam, which I'm using for this recipe, of course, you can use potatoes, okay? So I seasoned with a bit of salt, some curry powder, and a bit of vinegar. Yes, it's going to allow the insides to be soft and fluffy and then the outside to be crunchy, okay? And then I'm grating in some ginger and garlic as well. I'll give this a good mix and then, of course, I'll set this aside while I go on to check up on my chicken. By now, it should have been 30 minutes. I'm going to fry it in a bit of oil. As you can see, I lost the beginning of the footage, but yes, it went into the pan in a bit of oil, just small, okay, because the chicken is going to release its own juices as it goes along. And chicken thighs are naturally very juicy, okay, so you don't need to fry it too much or else it will end up being dry at the end of the recipe. So I gave it about five minutes and then I went in with my sausages to cook alongside. So like I said, with the sausages, I didn't season them at all because... The seasoning from the chicken is going to help it get some flavor as well, okay? So the sausages, so I gave them about three minutes to fry. And then I went ahead to mix everything up together. We are not taking too long here because we want the juiciness and the crunch from the vegetables as well, which you are going to see very, very soon. So once I mix these together, I'm not going to season because all the seasoning is in the chicken already. And then I'll go ahead and add in my vegetables. You can see that... Some of the juices are still around the protein, okay? So this has done about 10 minutes on my stove top. I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables. So today I'm using some onions, carrots, and cabbages, but you can use any vegetables of your choice, okay? So once my vegetables go in, I give about five minutes from the time that vegetables are added till the time I take it off fire because I want all the vegetables to have they are crunch at the end of the recipe okay if this is your first time here hello my name is yasmi and this is my kitchen taste and bloom please consider subscribing and joining this amazing blooming family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch me and as you realize at this point i've not added any salt to the recipe what i'm going to add is or what i've added already uh some soy sauce and oyster sauce I would also add a bit of salt to the sauce or the vegetable or stir fry rather. And then I'll go ahead and use it in the subsequent part of the video. So yes, uh, vegetable, chicken and sausage stir fry is ready. I'll set this aside and then we'll go ahead and fry the yam. So like I said, you can use potatoes for this recipe. But because we opted for yam, I'm not going to fry this till it's very dry or very very crunchy okay so i'm not looking for any golden brown color or anything like that okay once i see that the yam is cooked i'll take it out of the fire or out of the oil rather and then we'll continue assembling a loaded fries recipe it's a very simple one okay once everything is prepped you're good to go so i have here my oven friendly bowl layer it as you want okay so I'm starting with my vegetable and sausage and chicken stir fry. And then I top it up with a bit of my fries or fried yam if you like. And then I'll go in with some grated mozzarella cheese. And then I'll do another layer of the vegetable and meat stir fry. Okay. 
and then another layer of the grated mozzarella cheese if you watched the video till this point and you've not given me a thumbs up yet please do so and then on your way out leave a comment down below and let me know if you're trying this also share when you're done watching so this will go into my oven at 200 degrees celsius till the cheese melts that's probably about five minutes okay and then when it's out it's ready to be enjoyed this topping is optional but it's so good with this recipe just a bit of mayo tomato ketchup a splash of milk and a pinch of cayenne pepper give this a good mix and then once your loaded fries is out of the oven still warm you just drizzle a bit on there and then dig in let me know what you think about this recipe are you going to try it and of course you can add it to your christmas plate list if you've been around the channel you know that i have this session on my channel called the christmas plate list and no one has starting okay so i'll be giving you more recipes that you can enjoy this festive season however till we meet again keep blooming